Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie 17 box spring training baseball mixer. It's a random team break and look at this, we're giving away an Otani rookie auto. There it is right here. So at the end of the break, I'm going to randomize everybody's names and someone is going to get that. So there you go. We'll set that aside over, where am I? I'll set that aside over here. No, I'm going to set that aside, like, up here. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to totally forget to do it. All right. So there you go. We'll randomize all 30 names. We'll re-randomize them. To di different dice roll. This is what the mixer includes. A lot of great stuff in this mixer, ladies and gentlemen. And thanks to all of these folks right here. So thanks to everybody who bought their spots straight up. I appreciate that. And congrats to the people who won spots in our uh, TS breaks, our TriStar Platinum Autograph Baseball breaks, one and two. All teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list for the break. Three and a two, five times. Your names first. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we got Stephen Schwartz. Down to John Gotti. Three and a two, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, we've got the Atlanta Braves down to the Giants. Now, trades are allowed, but just remember that box list. Remember the different years. Just kind of keep in mind what rookies you can get and trade at your own risk in these mixers. Steven with the Braves, Troy with the Cardinals, Jonathan with the Mariners, Sean with the Mets, Asa with the Cubs, Eric with the Indians, Mike with the Padres, Kelvin with the Royals, Andrew with the White Sox, Sean with the Reds. Richard, you got the Blue Jays, Edwin with the Rays, Scott with the Yankees, Steven Kendrick with the Twins. Rick with the Rangers, Eastwood with the O's, Scott with the Pirates, Stephen Kendrick with the Rockies. Troy, you got my Dodgers. Jamie with the Phillies. John with the Nationals. Kenneth with the Angels. Robert with the Marlins. Sean with the Tigers. Jeff with the Red Sox. David with the Diamondbacks and the Astros. Brian with the Brewers. Jamie with the A's. And John with the San Francisco Baseball Giants. Let's sort by column B, by team. If you need to see your team again, let me know. I'm going to pause the video, allow for some trade. Looks like there's a little bit of trade chatter here. Allow for some trades, and when we come back, we're going to have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done in our 17-box spring training mixer. A very solid mixer with that Otani from Triple Threads that were given away at the very end. So everyone will still have a shot at that. All right, well, let's start with let's start with some Series 1. Let's get some of the heftier boxes out of the way first. And then the rest of the break should be kind of a breeze. Friends with Kenny, Buckeye, is that what you're saying? Or are you just trolling? Can't tell if I need to ban you or not. All right, if you remember the 2020 Series 1, um, the card after the that full foil card will be some sort of insert or short print. Hopefully we'll see more short prints than anything.
And then we'll do Heritage after this, then Topps Chrome, then maybe some Sapphire, then maybe Bowman Chrome, and then we'll work our way around to the Pantheon, around to Triple Threads, High Tech, Five Star, Luminaries, Archives. Maybe we'll probably close with the Autograph Baseball and a little game of Who Am I? America's favorite game. All right. Good luck. What do I do? I have anyone? There's. We'll save a Boba Shet for you. There's Christian Vasquez. Right here, probably some sort of short printer variation. Sean Black's looking for a Miggy in that Luminaries. That would be pretty cool. I wouldn't mind that. And we've got a Pete Alonzo Relic card. You know when uh, when Nick, Jason, and the rest of the team were in Dallas to rip a million cards with Tops. Thanks, Tops, for that. That was a lot of. That was actually they had a great time. Um, Pete Alonzo was there at the beginning of the rip party, and he was hanging around, giving out autographs and stuff and and whatnot. So he was a really nice dude. We gave him a Jaspie shirt. With that, with that big lo with that logo on there, so I mean, it'd be cool if he wears it someday. It's a facsimile autograph right there, by the way. Oh, let's save a Gavin Lux. He had a hit today, I think, in the spring training game. Dodgers looking for him to be a good, uh, good second baseman. All right, El Canon, what's going on, Josh? Got a Nico Herner auto from a Heritage Blaster today. Wow. That's pretty nice. He's supposed to be a big deal this year, too. Who are the rookies that you're looking forward to, everybody? Think Nico Herner, Gavin Lux. Is Joe Adele officially an RC this year? I don't think may, he might play this season, but I don't know if he's a rookie card in this season. I think um, Alberto Aquino on the Reds, I think he's an RC in baseball product this year. Jordan Alvarez, right? Nico Herner is definitely one of them. I don't know what's going to happen with Dustin May. He may get a shot at the back end of the rotation, but I have a feeling that the Dodgers are going to want to start him in AAA and just have him do a few starts and whatnot. And then at the first you know, sign of ineffectiveness or injury from one of the pitchers, I think they'll call him up. Oh, yeah, the David Peralta for David and the Diamondbacks. I sleeve that because it was after the full foil card, and the card after that is usually some sort of short print or something like that or variation. So that is why. Also because Sean Black thinks David Peralta is the man. All right, obviously inserts like this will still ship. But I just wanted to catch the variations right there. All right, there you go. Box one of 17 in the books. Oh, let's see what's in here. There's Altuve, Devers, Strawberry, and Pete Alonzo. Nice. All right, now let's go into some 2020 heritage. With, with Josh showing off about all the cool heritage stuff he's been getting. He also got a Nolan Ryan autograph from heritage. Man. Well, let's see what we can find out of this hobby box of heritage. We'll open that in just a little bit. 
Oh, but that was out of a hobby box, aren't it? The autographs are not too common in this heritage, so that is some luck. And where where are you getting these hot boxes, El Canon? You want to give us give us the scoop on where you're finding these? All right, this heritage we're gonna double check. Our shipping team will double check the heritage for any short prints that aren't obvious. But Theoden is helping us out a little bit here. Cards, uh, you got cards and codes. Cards and codes. Actually, Brian Peoples brings up a good point. Don't sleep on the A's rookies this year. Jesus Lazardo, AJ Puck, and Mur Sean, Sean Murphy? Tom Murphy? Oh, I see. El Canon saying no one wants to collect in my town. So you have to pick of Walmart cards. You're the only one who goes buys cards. Every time you go back, the stock is the same as you left it. Wow. Gold mine. Like a, like a gold rush out there. Sean Murphy, right, catchers. AJ Puck, they call... Uh, I think they, they one of his nicknames is the Little Big Unit, if I'm not mistaken. Now this year they actually write short prints on the top there. And the French text actually has a yellow back, so we'll be able to spot that relatively quickly too. Is that an action? No, see, it looked like it for a second, but it's not. Nick Nick did a couple full cases of this the other night, or whenever this dropped. And I, we, we were a little disappointed because we thought we, we pulled some nice stuff, but we thought we were going to pull more shorter printed stuff, like the nicknames or... We pulled a couple French texts but maybe like a team swap or something like that, but. French text is pretty cool. Um, their face will be in the middle and there's like a little like sunburst or something like that around there. And then there'll be in the English text on the left side and the French text on the other side.
All right, there's Javier Baez. Oh, Kenny, we were. I was gonna ask. That's, is that someone you know? It sounds like sounds like not. So maybe that person's just trolling. Um, Javier Baez jersey, Asa with the Cubs. No, there's like inserts and stuff here that that will ship. I feel like I think everything ships for Heritage just because of the potential short prints op opportunities for Heritage. Now that I think about it, all cards will ship in Heritage because just kind of going break wise, it's just hard to see. It's just hard to see um, quickly like what the short prints are. So everything in Heritage will ship. All right. Well, didn't you say they... Well, I don't know. Give it a couple days, Calvin. Patience is a virtue. Like I said, if the label is printed last night and for whatever reason wasn't picked up today or something like that, then maybe picked up the next day. Sometimes they're not scanned, so it might be on its way, but just not scanned. Well, could be a lot of different things. All right. Uh, no, let's do Topps Chrome first before we get into that sweet, sweet Sapphire. 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball. Note, reminder for the shipping team. All right, good luck. Yeah, Topps Chrome. El Cano is saying Topps Chrome, Chrome Sapphire, favorite products. A lot of value in that Sapphire. Oh, that's Bowman edition, but... I think both both editions are pretty strong. Blackout says, "I'm gonna be honest. Don't even know what rookies I can hit." Uh, Sean Black has what team do you have again? You have the Tigers. Casey Casey Mize could be. Maybe Casey Mize somewhere. That's the that's the big one. He was the number one overall in the 2018 draft, I think. So maybe he could be in some 18 product. Christian, yeah, Christian Stewart feels like the most common one that you could probably probably find. There you go. Riley Green's a good one. He might be in this stuff, that leaf stuff in the middle. Reese Hoskins rookie right here. I guess Verdugo, we should see Troy with the Dodgers. He's on the Red Sox now. Is he going to get... Anyone, any Red Sox fans out there? Is Alex Verdugo, what kind of playing time is he expected to get? 
out there. There's Brandon Woodruff. Almost missed his autograph. Brewers. That's for Brian Peoples. Got randomized the Brew Crew. And Fernando Romero. How many autographs are in this box? I thought it was just one. Anyway, that goes to the Twins. That'll be for Stephen Kendrick and the Twins. It's 134 out of 250. Nice. Is he getting the starting center field job, Verdugo? Wow. All right, I like that. Ronald Acuna Jr., the, kind of the photo negative look on that. Nikki Delmonico, autograph for the White Sox. That's for Andrew, Andrew K. It says two autographs per box. We got three already. Nice. That's for Steven and the Braves. Andrew Stevenson, green to 99. Shohei Otani, rookie. So the Angels, that goes to Kenny and the Halos. Maybe grade it. Maybe it goes for a million dollars. Maybe he wins the MVP this year. All right, should I do this? Uh, maybe I do that first, this one first. I mean, what's more valuable than a person... Uh, being able to pitch and hit. No, no MVP until he gets to pitch a full year. He might. Well, how many? Okay, so blackout to you. How many starts would Otani need to make to? Uh, How many starts would he need to make for you to qualify him as, as MVP worthy? I mean, I don't think he's going to make 32 starts. Yes, Eastwood. Adley Rushman is the guy you want. He may be in one of those leaf boxes there, but you'll probably end up with a lot of Cedric Mullinses, as Scott Ecker is pointing out. I think Otani makes like, what, 20 starts, right? I mean, if he has 20 starts, it's like 10 and 5, 12 and, five, 12 and 4 or something like that. 12 starts, let's say 6 innings a start. What's 12 times? It's 12 times 6. No, 20 starts, 20 times... 120 innings, you know, so, wow, that goes for 200 bucks, all right, Stephen Schwartz, $200, all right, so maybe 12 wins, if he pitches 120 innings, let's say he gets 100 strikeouts. 100 strikeouts, 12 wins, and then hits 290, 
280, 30 home runs. Is that MVP? I mean, his war, his collective war is probably out, out of the ballpark at that point. I don't think he traditionally does, Scott. I don't think he's going to pitch or hit the day after a start. I feel like he's going to start Sundays, off on Monday, plays Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then off on Saturday to pre prepare for a start on Sunday. Something like that. There's Leonardo Rivas, for the, speaking of the Halos. Kenny with that one. There's Bo Burrows to 499 refractor for the Tigers. There's a Verdugo rookie, although that guy may may take votes away from from Otani. Bo Burrows for the Tigers. That's Sean Black, and the Verdugo rookie card will go to Troy Sanford. Right, Sean Corbett's the Angels guy, so he's saying DH at best on the day after, maybe maybe the field in the middle of the week. But there's not a lot of Monday games, I want to say. There's Nate Pearson to 655, so he may have a natural, a natural day off anyway. Ooh, Ozzy Albie's rookie auto gold, 10 out of 50. What a break for Steven Schwartz already. We're not even done. We're not even halfway through the break. He's got the Acuna negative photo refractor. Then he's got the Acuna autograph to 50. Rookie autograph to 50. Wow. There he is. There's Steven Schwartz. Good randomizer. Lucked out there. Good box here. Here's Josh Harrison to 150. Well, that's what I'm saying, Scott. If Otani's batting numbers are lower due to his rest days, but if he still hits like 30 home runs and like fewer at bats or something like that, that could that could convince some voters. I mean, that could be really interesting. There's Josh Harrison to 150. Now let me put some of these hits into this container here. All right, onwards, 2019 Bowman Draft Sapphire Edition. I don't know. I think it'd be. I, th I think if you are. Well, I actually I don't know what his. What what are Otani MVP odds? Are MVP odds are even out yet? to ship all those Bowman Sapphire cards too. And we've got in the middle right here, Domingo Acevedo. Three out of ten on that one. That goes to the Yankees. That'll be for Scott Eckert. And we've got Vince Fernandez, 48 out of 99. Like the, maybe he was named after the famous singer Vicente Fernandez. That's for the Rockies. That's going to go to Stephen Kendrick. All right, nothing too huge here, but all of those will ship. Awesome. 
All right, let's let's get into some Pantheon maybe. I have been watching a bit of the XFL. I'm a I'm a LA Wildcat fan for life. Been following them since the day I was born. Tough day for them today, but you and I both know that, that that's not Wildcat football, not the kind of football they've been playing lately. The long tradition of Wildcat football. It's not them. They'll bounce back, though. Barry Bonds, piece of his lumber. 700 home run club going to the Pirates. Scott with the Buckos to 199. We've got Ken Griffey Jr. Gallant Gloves. That is Seattle Mariners edition going to Jonathan O'Neill and the M's. That's one out of ten on that one. The lower number ones in here. There, oh, grab two here. This class and rank Pete Rose. 91 out of 99. Dual relic for the red legs. That's going to be for Sean Kirkham. We got Orlando Cepeda, your 1958 Rookie of the Year, class and rank dual relic for the Giants, 88 out of 99. That's a piece of his game used lumber in there, Giants. That's going to go to John G. We got a randomizer here. We got Willie McCovey, Will Clark, Juan Marichal, Orlando Cepeda. No, we don't. These are all Giants. 18 out of 25. So no randomizer. That's another great one for John. Some old school guys there. Some nice old relics. We got old Bainesy, Harold Baines. Got the White Sox pinstripe and his autograph. That's going to go to Andrew K. 139 out of 193. That's kind of a weird number, but there you go. 193. Points, we'll randomize that to one person. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. The Otani is sitting right up there, so I'm reminded to do that, right where the corner of the 400 points is pointing. So the name on top will get the Otani. The second name will get any and all points. We'll collect that all together. Paul Molitor is a nice one for the Brewers. Brian Peoples with the Brew Crew. 42 out of 49. Highlighting his 3,319 hits. Nice. Let's go into some tech. Let's get technical here. Yeah, the, I think they did Pantheon back in 2016. So, but I, think, I don't think they've done it since. They had, a, they had a football version too. Frank, yeah, what's your question? Shoot. Remember, if it's a boxing-related question, I know nothing about boxing. And if it's a shipping-related question, you have to email us. I know, he always has questions, Black Eye. It's good, though. Questions are good. I'm sure other people have the same questions. Frank's the one bold enough to ask the questions. He's not shy. Is it? Oh, that's a completely different. Three out of 99, John Gray, rookie. Stephen Kendrick. I can't tell you what to do or not do with your social security number on an offshore sports book. I will not be responsible for giving you advice on that. No thanks. Ooh, and a Ryan Braun for you, Brian Peoples and the Brew Crew. 43 out of 50. All right, let's get into some ultimate baseball. So remember, these are uh, the players will still be in their college gear, or there doesn't have a pro team attached to it. So it'll go to the team that they uh, are currently on. I think most of most, if not all, of these players should be on the team that drafted them. I have used Bovada. 11 out of 15, Quinn Priester. 
I don't remember where Quinn Priester is. I have to look these up. He is in the Pirates organization. According to his Wikipedia, that'll go to Pittsburgh. Scott Eckert with this prospect. You are rooting for him now to have an incredible future in baseball. But I have used Bovad in other books. I'm, I think it's pretty common, I want to say, for a lot of books to ask for a ton of personal information. Davis Wenzel is with the Rangers, third baseman in the Rangers organization. That goes to Rick Butler and Texas. Actually, actually, I don't remember them asking for my social. Driver's license, yeah. I don't know. Ask. Ask them. <laughs> Nine out of 25. Joey Bart, rookie signature. Nice. It's a giant. It's a future Buster Posey right there. That's what they're hoping anyway. That goes to John G. The Joey Bart. We've got Aaron Schunk. Rookie signature. I think he's a Yankee. No. His MLB parent club is the Colorado Rockies. That goes to Stephen Kendrick. Sorry, Yankees. False alarm. We've got Ultimate Arms autograph. That's Ryan Jensen. I've got a buddy whose name is Ryan Jensen. Ryan, Now, this Ryan, not my friend Ryan Jensen, but baseball player Ryan Jensen is is a cub yes is a cub ironically my friend Ryan Jensen is a White Sox fan he's a South Sider bum 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 Andrew Vaughn is a White Sox I'm almost certain Show me White Sox. Got it. That's for Andrew K with the Andrew V. Chicago White Sox. I feel like he's a pretty big prospect too. All right. Leaf Metal Draft Baseball. Same deal. Goes to the team they're currently on. We've got George Kirby, 7 out of 50. Remember that Kirby video game? Wow, Chicago Sun Times, Chicago Sun Times saying, Andrew Vaughn's simple and fantastic approach, opening eyes at the White Sox camp. So it's good news. George Kirby, show me twins. No, not George Kirby, the, uh, the American comedian, singer, and actor. I want George Kirby, the minor league baseball player. Mariners are his parent club. That goes to John O'Neill and the M's out of 50. We've got Nathan Patterson, 4 out of 10. I don't even know. I can't even venture a guess. I want to say Oakland A's, but I think that's not right. Oakland A's, show me A's. With a 96 mile, oh wait, is this the kid? Yeah, he's the kid. This guy is the guy that attracted national media attention for throwing a fastball at 96 miles per hour in a carnival style pitching game at a ballpark. The video went viral and leading to the signing of a contract with the A's and signing autographs for Leaf. There you go, that goes to Jamie. Man, I have a lot of worthless information in my head. Although, that's not worthless. He may, he may become 
So you become a big leaguer. We got, there's my boy Ryan Jensen, 14 out of 25. Another one for Asa and the Cubs. We've got Joey Bart, another giant. Another Joey Bart for John. 12 out of uh, 50 on this one. San Francisco Giants. Joey Bart. One more, two more, one more than a redemption. We got Corbin Carroll. I'm sure he's a Diamondback. 21 out of 30. Blackout, is he a Diamondback? Yes, a Diamondback. That goes to David C. and the Snakes. 21 out of 30. And the redemption is is going to be Jordan Alvarez. Base auto card. Could be a low parallel as well. Astros, nice. That goes to Houston. That David C., with Houston as well. You got the last two cards out of this Leaf Metal box. Nice. All right. We're moving along nicely here. All right. We got, we got some things here. Let's get into some triple threads here. All right, good luck. Yes, there are vet hits in uh, in triple threads. Here are your numbered cards. Your Honus Wagner, 250 for the Pirates. Scott Eckert. There's Mike Trout. 299. That goes to the Angels. Kenny. Jackie Robinson. Dodgers to 299. That'll be for Troy. A Buster Posey to 25 for the Giants. That's going to be for John. All right, and all these will ship too, of course, per tradition. All right, behind Clemente is going to be a Carlton Fisk, 20 out of 27. Legend triple relic. That'll be for Andrew and the White Sox, White Sox edition of Fisk. And behind Clemente is Miles Mikolas. Mikolas. 52 out of 99, Troy with the Cardinals. Behind Will Myers is an Oakland A, a one-of-one one man of steel, Ricky Henderson. Wow. Jamie with that one-of-one. One. Jamie won that spot as well in one of our TriStar breaks. Jamie with the A's. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Man of Steel. And behind Will Myers is Ichiro. 8 out of 99. Going to the Miami Marlins. Marlins edition. That goes to Robert Lastbot Mojo. All right, let me make myself a little room here and get to the next set of cards. Okie doke. Uh, let's go Brooklyn Collection. Let's go Archive Signature Series Retire Player Edition. Oh. And Jamie says, first big hit ever and you just started collecting. Well, congrats, man. Next up is Ed Cranepool. Remember old Ed Cranepool? Four out of 71. Old Met. Sean Kirkham does. Sean, you remember him. Long, illustrious career with the Mets. All 
All right, and the next one is Ozzy Smith. Three out of ten, Ozzy Smith in that late '80s Topps baseball design. '89, maybe. Yeah, Ozzy performs a somersault upon taking the field. There you go. I'm gonna win Pulitzers for that copy. That goes to Troy, who won that spot. And a tri-star break. Nice. All right, now Brooklyn collection. We got play to the whistle, Kelvin. Play to the whistle. This one's not done yet. We saw that. Just don't forget this that we're giving away too. It could be a shot at that. All right, there's a little sponge on here. How does this work? There's a little thumb notch right there, so this works like that. Uh, oh, they they put a little cover on it. Thank you. This is kind of slippery. <laughs> you like how I showed you the inside of that box? That clear box? All right. There's Aaron Judge. That's for the Yankees, of course, Scott Eckert. And you've got Manny Machado, Padres edition. Did we do any of this? I don't remember Blue Box Brooklyn Collection. I remember Brown Box Brooklyn Collection. Anyway, that goes to the Padres. That goes to Mike Tower. Ty Cobb, I've heard of him. Tigers, Sean Black. And we've got Chris Paddock to 75 for the Padres. That'll be for Mike Tower. We've got 11 out of 50. Glaber Torrey, are there hits in here? <laughs> I forgot what the configuration of this is. Glaber Day going to Scott and the Yankees. We got There we go. We got, oh, now we have... Boston edition of Carlton Fisk. This one goes to Jeff Minton and the Boston Red Sox. What are you wearing? Jake from State Farm. This, I don't see it. Oh, there's the number top left corner right there. 24 out of 25. The stitching kind of kind of hit it right there. There you go. And last one here is Andy Pettit. Not to be confused with our, our client here, Aaron Pettit. This is Andy Pettit. They spell they spell the last name differently. And that's out of seventy five. Ten out of seventy five on that one. All right. 2018 five star. We did a case of that the other night. Let's get a one of these blank cards may help hide the hits a little bit here. We got Scott Kingery for the Phillies. Jamie with the fighting Phils. And we got a golden graph in here. Paul DeYoung. 13 out of 20 golden graphs. That's one of the case hits. Either a golden graph or a silver signature. And then I think there's a patch auto. Nice. That's for Troy and the Cardinals. Five Star used to have, remember, remember old Five Star Sean Black? Sean's like, man, I wish Five Star had like four cards. Two feels a little low. Remember Five Star actually used to come in 
old hinged boxes like this, and they had the cards set in here like like the cup hockey, where the cards were just kind of they were just naked and they were they were just in this little slot right here, and there was like six or seven of them, base with base cards too. But it was a four box configuration. Do you guys remember that? Now this is 2019 five star. I think if you dig into our old videos, Blackout, you'll see some of that old five star baseball and football, especially. I think I remember we us doing football more often. They were super expensive, though. They re, that's why they re reconfigured it. All right, we got Danny Jansen. Rookie autograph for the Blue Jays, Richard. And we've got 18 out of 50, Miles Straw. That goes to David and the Astros. He can't come to California, though. Straws are banned here. <laughs> Boy, that was good. All right, luminaries. One in case... Should I do the baseball first? No, let's do the baseball first. Or should I do luminaries first? What should I do? First, with say, put either type luminaries or type baseball. First to three is the one I'll break first. Hopefully everyone's live and not lagging behind so you can get your vote in. Baseball gets a vote. Theoden is not lagging behind. Baseball. Luminaries. Baseball. All right, baseball first. I think they're banned in like Los Angeles County. Breaksman. Or maybe just LA and the South Bay. They're like, it's like the plastic bag ban. So like, although fast food restaurants still give you plastic straws. It's a plastic straw ban, not a, not a straw ban. Or a mild straw ban. All right, what do we got here? Usually they give me a little game show card. No, this is the JSA. Don't look that up. Don't cheat. I want to grab the autograph. Oh, there's the autograph. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, who am I? I've, I've got a whole whole lot of accolades here. I'm an NL Rookie of the Year, a 10-time Gold Glover, a 14-time All-Star, a two-time MVP, a two-time World Series champion and a World Series MVP, and a Hall of Famer. I'm pretty good. And this will go to the team I played for the longest. No, he played for only one team. I only played for one team my entire career. Let me double check that. Yep, from 1967 to 1983. And I was a Hall of Famer in 1989. First ballot Hall of Famer, 96.42% of the vote. I'm going to give this away. I'm a catcher. Lifetime 267 average, 2,048 hits, 389 home runs, 1,376 runs batted in. I think he was always a little annoyed that the whole Pete Rose gambling thing got in the way of his Hall of Fame induction year or something like that. They've always been at odds, him and him and Rose, him and Pete Rose, but they played on the same team for a long time. Yep, Brian Peoples, Joe Drobeck, Blackout Smooth, Johnny Bench, you got it. All right, there he is. Hall of Famer Johnny Bench still doing commercials and stuff. Still looks young and spry. There's his. There's his. Uh, there's the JSA sticker right there, and I'm pretty sure 
pretty sure he wrote a book recently. My, if I'm not mistaken, I think in the last year he has a new book out. I don't know if it's an autobiography. I'm not sure, but yeah. So that obviously goes to the red legs, Sean Kirkham with the Reds, right? Blue Emu commercials. I've been seeing a lot him and a lot more of those too. All right, so congrats to Sean. All right, there you go, Sean. Congrats to you. That's a nice one. All right, now let's get into the luminaries. All right here, one encased. And then let's give away that Otani. Yes, Brian Peebles, that cracked me up. This new commercial has him holding seven burgers in one hand. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Seems like a good sport, that Johnny Bench. <laughs> like, can you imagine, like, the advertisers, like, whoever wrote that ad is like, Mr. Bench, I think we're, you know, the whole I can hold a zillion baseballs in my hand thing. What if we, what if we had you holding burgers? How many ideas do you think they had before they settled on burgers? All right. One encased card right here. Fourteen out of fifteen. Any guesses based on this number right here? Two forty six. What would that be? Home runs? Wins? That's a lot of wins for a pitcher. Should I cheat and look? Oh, it's a lot of home runs for a catcher. Should we play Who Am I? No, I think I think Pudge and Piazza had more home runs than 246, right? Well, he had a career. I don't know why they put 204. Yeah, I have a career 275 home runs, 273 batting average, 1,065 home runs. I'm a catcher, played for uh, a switch hitting catcher, played for one team my entire career. Five time All Star. This is going to give it away. Four time World Series champion. <laughs> Five time Silver Slugger, and my number 20 has been retired. Switch hitting catcher that played for one team his entire career as four World Series champions in the 90s and early 2000s. MLS. Yep, Cali, you got it. Brian People, you got it. Jorge Posada. What's that 246, though? Oh, number two home run total as a catcher, I guess. But he hit more after that. All right, well, there you go. At 246, it was number two. Maybe that's the that's the home run number that cracked it from third to second. But there you go, Yankees. That's gonna go to Scott Scott Eckert with the Bronx Bombers. That's it. Any any secret hits down here? No, no secret, no secret hits. There you go. All right, thanks everybody. Now appreciate everybody getting into the action. Let's give away this Shohei Otani jersey and autograph. Eighteen out of eighteen. Name on top on the randomizer gets its second name, consolation prize, 400 points. All right, so let's switch screens really quick. And let's get everyone's names from David all the way down to John. And let's get him in here. 
and let's roll it and randomize it. Top two get something after nine times. Four and a five, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Blackout's wondering if he's the only one that looks away and waits for Joe to say your name or a name, as the case may be. All right, well, you know it's not going to be these names right here. Apologies, but thank you, everyone, for trying. Sorry, apologies to all these folks, too. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Consolation prize, 400 points, goes to Scott Ecker. There you go, Scott. A little something going your way. Now, the big prize, the Otani rookie jersey and autograph out of Triple Threads Baseball. David, David C., who got a spot straight up. I think he got a couple spots straight up, but he ends up, I think he got some nice hits in this break. And you end up with the Otani. Congrats to you. Thanks very much for getting in. There you go. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Good night.